Now too fly. Yeah. You know I'm gonna ask you about it. So I I heard the record and I saw I saw it online, you know, um what people were saying about the shots uh, you know that you took at, you know, Nikki or whatever the case yeah, may yeah. be. Um but I'm gonna twist it a little bit. Um male rappers take shots at each other all the time. Okay, yeah, of course. All the time. You know what I mean? You have Kendrick, he dropped something that was controversial and it's always like, Oh, this is great for hip hop. You know what I mean? Oh, this yeah. is dope, this is fantastic. And when a female does it, it's kind of like, oh, you females got to stick together and this has to happen. And you said that it wasn't intentional. You said, you know, it is what it is. Take it however you want to take it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You can what, take it how you want. What's your thoughts on that? Because like you said, it's a sport. If yeah, you're yeah. not trying to be the best at it, if you're not having a little fun taking pokes and jabs, then what are you doing it for? Right. So when, when someone comes to you for being a hip hop head, you know, why, why is it so that a female can't do it, but a male can? You get what I'm trying to say? I don't, I don't think anybody... Um, pretty much is coming at me for being a hip hop head. Right. I think that people are asking. And a lot of times as females, we get very emotional. Like, well, if that's how you want to take it, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Even myself, I look back and I'm like, oh, you being a bird. Like, what's right. up? You know what I'm saying? And 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 it is, I'm very much so a rap sports type of person. Mm. And, um, you know, we all get at each other. Mm. You know, Missy will put out a song and just come at everybody. Mm. And, I, and I listen back to some of her music, like even like right now with the song she got out right now. Right. Um, you best go rewrite your balls. Anybody right. could take that. I could take that. Anybody could take that and be like, yo, she she calling niggas out to step up, whether right. it's male or female. And and I think that that's dope because people like her inspired me for the past 10, 15, 20 years and like continuing to inspire. And I plan to inspire too. And just and just challenging each other. You gotta challenge each other. It's not a it's not a um it's not a it's not a demographic thing as far as male or female. Right. It's about a demographic thing of rap like if you're a part of this sport you got to be down for the get down it's no sex no separation by gender you got to just be down you know for that and i i think that that's the cool part i think it's when it's approached though we got to be a little bit more brave like if you said something about somebody just say you said it it's right, all right it's right. not that serious like right. yeah i came at you what's up you know what right, i'm saying i think right. that that would make it a little bit better right. i could do better with that um and um yeah but one of my favorite lines from the song right. though Right. Was when I said I'm from Brooklyn. You know I got a thing for big. Right, I thought that right, was cute. Right. That was a nice little pun. Right. But um, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was cute. You know. Yeah. So um, but yeah, other than that, you know, you know, shots fired of all course. the time. Of course. You know, when it comes to those type of songs, and then we have more inspirational records where I'm I'm I want to. You know what? You know what I've learned. Not only from um other rappers, but artists in general, more so rappers. Mm -hmm. Let me be clear. Um, a lot of times when you're being very um, combative right. in rap, when uh, you do concerts, many times you'll find yourself screaming these lyrics out that you're saying to God knows who, mm -hmm. some other rapper or somebody that you're in conflict with, and you're saying it to your fans. So right. all these people came to see you and you're like, yeah. And if you try to come at me, niggas like, yeah, right, right, well, right, right, wait, right. hold up, me, wait, <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, let me say it so I can feel like you. So you, they want to say it harder than you because... They want to feel like they're you now because what you're saying is not relatable to them as far as how you make them feel. Right. But I feel like artists that have really honed that craft are people like J. Cole and people like, uh, you know, Kendrick Lamar. And I feel like uh, um, a young woman that would walk into that is somebody like Tink mm -hmm. and myself. And there's others as well. But I just feel like it's certain artists that you get a certain level of freedom from and I'm and I'm learning how to free myself right. and those and those three artists that I named I named them intentionally because those are people that I connect myself I, I feel a connection with because I feel like they're being free they're allowing themselves to tell a story to connect with the fans and and get that feedback and be vulnerable even if it make you look stupid mm -hmm. or you make you feel weak or it make you feel even Drake right. even Kanye even you got these great artists that's just making themselves free and I right. feel like we're in a good space in music. And I think that freedom part is really dope. Aside from just the, the combative and the battle rap and all of that, you got to right. be able to make records. You got to make, make people be able to relate to you and know that, hey, that person, they must have they been reading my mind or, or they must be going through something similar as I am right. because psh, that was my life right there. You know? Right, right, right.